Hello again, everybody. I'm Abby Carlson. I'm an infectious diseases doctor at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention here in Atlanta, Georgia. And you may have been watching these videos in our Inside Infection Control series for a little while. If so, thank you very much. If not, welcome. We're going to take a minute to summarize some of the things that we have covered so far. In this series, we focused on how germs spread and specifically on how the virus SARS-CoV-2, which causes the disease COVID-19, gets from person to person. The main way SARS-CoV-2 spreads is by respiratory droplets. That's when somebody who's infected breathes out at, or coughs or talks and the water in their breath, those little tiny droplets of water that are carrying virus particles, they reach a person who's close by. Then those droplets are breathed in or land on the eyes, and this can happen whether the infected person knows they're infected or not. Okay, then the virus can also get around when droplets carrying them get on surfaces and then onto your hands. Droplets can fall onto things from a cough or a sneeze or again, just from breathing out um, your breath. They can also be spread around through your hands if you touch your nose or your mouth and you're infected, and then you touch something without cleaning your hands, the virus can get onto that thing. Everywhere your hands can go, the virus can go too, from keyboards to patient beds to elevator buttons. And then the virus can go from those surfaces and get picked up by someone else on their hands and make its way onto their eyes, nose, or mouth, eventually infecting them and making them sick. So now that we've covered the ways that germs spread in a healthcare setting, all of this information will come in handy in the next series of videos. We're gonna start talking about the things that we do for infection control to keep germs from spreading. Things like screening patients and staff, or how we use different pieces of personal protective equipment and how they work. And we're gonna talk about how some aspects of SARS-CoV-2 have made infection control especially challenging. 